Hello and welcome to day eight of learning the names of God. Today's name of God is Jehovah Rohi, which is the Lord our shepherd. Many of us are probably familiar with Psalm 23, which is David's psalm, who was a shepherd who actually killed a lion and bear with his bare hands. And we also have many, many scriptures where Jesus refers to him as a shepherd. A shepherd is one who, over, who overlooks the care of the sheep, who protects the sheep, and who monitors the sheep to make sure that they are um, not that they don't get into danger. So the, the shepherd provides protection for them. So let's look at a couple of scriptures to get a deeper insight into God as our shepherd. The first one that we're going to look at, of course, is uh, Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leaves me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare as a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Again, this is David's Psalm, Psalm 23. He was very familiar with um, this analogy he uses of the, the Lord being a shepherd because he himself was a shepherd. And if you just kind of walk yourself through this Psalm, Psalm 23, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. That reminds us that God takes care of our needs. He makes me to lie down in green pastures, leads me beside the still waters. That's talking about the peace and security and comfort that we have, knowing that God is our Father. He's our shepherd. He takes care of us. He restores my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his namesake. It means I don't have to wonder or be confused about what God's plan is for my life. I don't have to be just waffling around, feeling like I don't have a purpose, that I don't have a destiny. Why am I even here? Because he leads me in the path of righteousness. If I listen for his voice, if I read his words, I, if I apply my understanding to the things that I'm learning, then I'm not just waffling around. I have a very deliberate, planned, purposeful um strategy that I'm using that I am implementing based on what God has, is revealing to me because his plan is not arbitrary. It is very, very deliberate and planned. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil for you are with me, your rod and your staff that comfort me. We're going to all experience times of fear, times when we, tr we feel afraid. But in those times where fear tries to attack us, where fear, where fear tries to come into our heart, we have this reminder that we have a shepherd. That even though we may go through death, even though we may go through challenges, even though we may lose people close to us, even though depression or grief or anxiety or worry may try to attack us, we stand strong in, in the remembrance that God takes care of us. He is our good shepherd. And he does, because of that, we don't have to fear. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup runs over. This reminds us that in life, not everyone's going to be a fan. Not everyone's going to favor us. Not everyone's going to like us. But it doesn't matter because if God be for us, who can be against us, right? So even when people may plot against you, they may plan against you, you may not have supporters, you may be feeling like you're doing it all alone. We are never alone. And this reminds us that God prepares a table before us. God will bless us in spite of. God will bless us and allow those who thought, oh no, this can, it can never happen to witness his blessing over our lives. You anoint my head with oil, my cup runs over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. This tells us that his goodness and his mercy will be our companions forever, all the days of our lives. His goodness and his mercy. So that reminds us that all good things that come from him, we'll, we'll have access to those. And even when we miss it, when we don't get it right, we confess our sins and God's mercy covers us. So this is Psalm 23, a very uh, familiar psalm that reminds us of, of God being a shepherd. I want to do uh, two other scriptures, one of which is Jesus talking about himself as shepherd. In John 10, verses 4 through 5, he says, The sheep follow him, for they know his voice. A stranger they will not follow, but will flee from him, for they know not the voice of strangers. I am the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for the sheep. This is here Jesus reminding us that he is the good shepherd. He laid down his life for us. 
It, because even though we go astray, even though we wander away, even though we lose faith at times, God has already provided a way through Jesus Christ for us to be reconciled to him. And for us, Jesus, even now, is interceding on our behalf. Thank God for that because he is the good shepherd. And it says that we should hear his voice and follow it. The voice of another we will not follow. So that's what God is looking for. He's looking for obedience. He's looking for us to hear his voice and obey. He is the good shepherd. And so as good sheep, we should follow him.